I'm Dr. Jess Mason, this is Dr. Whitney Johnson, and we are gonna place a femoral arterial line for this hypotensive patient. First, let's review the equipment that you need while she gets the patient consented. All arterial line kits have the same stuff. They've all got a needle, a guide wire, and a catheter. Now that can come as a single contained unit like these, or as component parts. This one is for the radial artery. It's 20 gauge, and the catheter is much shorter compared to the one for the femoral artery, which is 18 gauge and a much longer catheter. The guide wire piece connects to the angiocath like this, and now it's a single unit, just like this one. It's just a bigger version. Once you cannulate the vessel, you slide this down to the marker, and that's when you know that the wire is at the needle tip. Then advance the wire as long as it's going smoothly, and the catheter feeds over the wire. Alternatively, if you have the kit that has the component parts, this is just like a central line. You have a needle, you cannulate the vessel. You feed the guide wire through the needle, you remove the needle, and then you advance the catheter over the guide wire. Let's review the landmarks. You can remember the anatomy by the mnemonic VAN. Vein, artery, nerve. Venus, close to penis. If you don't have ultrasound and you're doing this blind, palpate the pubic symphysis and the anterior superior iliac spine. The femoral artery is at the midpoint between these and go just inferior to the inguinal ligament. Let's prep and drape the patient. As we get set up, remember that you can externally rotate the leg a little bit to help improve exposure. And if the patient's obese, tape the panis up or tilt the head of the bed downward in reverse Trendelenburg. Now I think we're ready, so let's inject a small wheel of lidocaine. Palpate the vessel with two fingers, and if you have an ultrasound, now's a good time to use it. Approach with the angiocath at 45 degrees. When you get flash, stop. Make sure that the blood is filling up the catheter. Now you can advance the guide wire as long as there's no resistance. And if there is, maybe you backwalled it. Try backing out just a little bit and see if that works. Otherwise, you have to start over. Once the guide wire advances easily, you can now slide the catheter over the guide wire, and this should be as smooth as silk. Remove the guide wire and just cover the catheter with your finger to limit blood loss, but honestly, it's gonna bleed. Double check that your awesome nurse flushed the line thoroughly, and now we're gonna connect our transducer line to the arterial catheter. And once that is secured in place, we use this blue piece to suture it down. So Dr. Johnson's gonna take care of the suturing, and then you're gonna make sure that this was all set up properly. It's a half liter bag of saline, and it's blown up on a pressure infuser to 250 to 300 millimeters of mercury. Also, you are connected to your monitor, and you can start transducing that arterial pressure. Once it's all secured in place, you're gonna dry the area very thoroughly, and then secure it down with a dressing.